The no pants gang has grown. We don't have two people without pants. Uh, welcome back to Alien Dawn. Stranded? Stranded Alien Dawn. That's, that's it. That's it. We're, uh, feeding our animals. We're letting them sleep. They've got food. Taking care of the starving animals out there. The mantis. The manti? I don't know. Uh, we are building stuff. This is pretty much done. He's gonna go play the didgeridoo. I'm hoping we get more crew on this run. We'll see. I think this game comes out launches soon, so I'm probably not gonna play this run too long because I wanna, you know, leave room for that, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll get some of the basics done. Do a little bit of a run here. Jack's having a meltdown. Fantastic. Is it because he's hungry? He's on a food binge. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're doing okay for the most part. I'm going to send out a little expedition. We're going to go the over eight. We'll send out the big boy, Jack, out to explore in the rando one. Not too worried about the other ones right now. We'll see if we can find some more crew members or something. A little bit of snow on the ground outside. Just about done getting emergency rations. Nice. A lot of stuff going on. What did we find? I detected one of the ship's data storage devices. These modules contain a bit of the ship's memory, flight logs, crew profiles, personal mails, and what's whatsoever. Let's go there immediately. We unlocked printed components. Breakthrough research. Nice. Very good. So we actually got the tech, or does that mean... Hmm. We just unlocked it as an option. I think we've just unlocked the tech for research, I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Re re we require nanotubes printing. Okay, we need a lot more stuff. Good job, Jack. Keep it up. We got an animal migration. A large herd of these big boys. Intriguing. Oh, we're proposing a music night. Let's do it. Let's have a little party, shall we? 19 hours. At 1900 hours. Sorry, not in 19 hours. I'm going to send Samantha out to do another expedition to the spaceship debris. We're going to go check that out. Hopefully she gets back before 1900 hours, huh? <laughs> That'd be nice. All right, music night has begun. We're transporting stuff, though, so nobody's there for music night. Samantha's out, too. I probably should have waited, huh? Oh, well. Maybe she'll get back in time before things go too late. Didgeridoo. Pan pan. Nice. What do we find? Scrap metal and a laser pistol. Very good. So the physical ability determines how much they bring back. Yeah. Well, we've got more aggressive animals coming in. They're off to this side. Oh, they're going to be fighting these guys. <laughs> That's fun. Or they're just going to run from them. I don't know what. We're building the new kitchen house slash dining hall. That's the plan anyways. And we're being attacked. See how this goes. Let's get everybody over here. We'll need to get walls up here in the near future. Build up those defenses. Slowly rolling in, but we're taking the long shots, man. Keep them at distance. Nice. Well done. It's always nice when they come to you and you can just pick them off <laughs> at your leisure instead of having to go towards them. Oh, yeah. Getting her done. Mackie has reached combat level one. Very nice. All right, you four are all undrafted. Go about your day. Oh, we have a berry plant right here we haven't <laughs> checked out. Weird. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and butcher all this stuff, and then uh, well, I'll come back to you when something cool happens. We've got shrieking noises. 
Recently on quiet nights, the wind carries over weird shrieking noises, and un as unsettling as they are, the source may be even more unpleasant. Creepy! Send down an expedition. We'll send Jack out, because he's the fighting man. Get to work, Jack. Off Jack goes. We're drinking some tea. Shattered insults. Oh, you're having a meltdown, aren't you? Okay. Well, we're handling business here. We're going to build a nice dining hall here. We'll get a nice kitchen going. A separate room for that, of course. With its own storage for foodstuffs. That's going to be the goal. Update. A spike-tailed insect has made a layer between some rocks. Looks to be alone for now. Might be a good chance to observe its kind from a safe distance. Kill it! It's a tough fight, but the wretched thing is now laying dead at my feet. I'll be heading back. Get my wounds treated. Apparently he's bleeding. Okay. Again, I was hoping to find some crew, but that ain't happening, is it? No oh, man has come back. He didn't bring anything with him either. I don't know what the point of that was. Maybe I was supposed to monitor it, observe, report. All right, I'm back. So, since the release of this game is coming out on the 25th, which is pretty soon, I think that's next Tuesday, as I'm recording this, I'm probably going to drop all of this Stranded Alien Dawn stuff on the same day, probably the day before release. And I'm going to wrap up this episode in this or this series in this episode. Maybe I'll do another one on launch. We'll see. We'll see. But I think I want to get some power up and running. Which we're close to getting. As soon as we do that, I think we'll be good to go. Do a little bit of power, get some walls up. And we'll go from there. Well, it looks like Jack found some unknown plants on an expedition. We're going to go there immediately. Discovery green grass. I thought we already knew this. <laughs> I thought we knew this. Okay. Oh, we've got an animal flu here on one of our little drakas. Unfortunate. Hopefully he does okay. I guess he's already got immunity. That was quick. Oh, apparently grain grass is different than grain cob. I see. I see. Well, we will grow that then. A little 4x8. Okay, we're going to go out and mine a little bit more. All of this. Because I need it. Oh, Expedition Discovery Bone Crusher. I named the flying reptile Bone Crusher after seeing the way it broke and ate bones of a carcass. It's actually not that scary. It just looks mean and strong. But it's mostly harmless. Acts like a bird of prey, feeding on the carcasses, but it flies away when approached. They're definitely a threat to any hunting effort. Bone crushers are fast eaters. They'll swarm a dead animal in minutes. Okay, well that wasn't that great. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep sending people out and see if we get lucky. Oh, she's still exploring. Or somebody... Oh, Samantha was... Okay, I thought that was the expedition. Never mind. I see an old crash site. It looks like a huge chunk of an engine. Go there immediately. What'd you get? Some CPU cores. Well done. Alright, we have made it to the crash site again. I came across a particularly interesting piece of engine, but dismantling it to get used, get good stuff out of it might take a while. Ooh, yeah. I could use the time to get loads of scrap metal instead. Well, get the CPU cores or the electronics. Focus on finding electronics. I think that's what we're lacking. Well, we're back to having aggressive animals. They are up this way, which means we can use our watchtower. We got electronics from that expedition. Nice. Nice. That's helpful. Construction level six. Good, we'll have this done in no time. We can get the electric Kukri, if you will. Not the kukri. Okay, we have aggressive animals. We're going to draft you, put you in the watchtower. All three of you get drafted and protect that watchtower. Let's go. 
here they come. We're gonna line up a cool, cool thumbnail shot. That's what you do. Nice. Get after him. Everybody else is doing the melee. <laughs> oh, well. Combat level two for Yoko. Here comes Big Boy. Big Bertha coming in. One down. Nice. Nice. Well done, folks. Well done. Well, the cool thing is all these dead bugs are already here, man. We can just butcher them right outside the base. I'm gonna need him to do a little medical on Mackie. She no longer has shoes. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, her shoes fell off her feet. Great. Dang, she had a lot of wounds. Mostly to her legs. I guess that makes sense. Lots of bites. Bitten off flesh from the right leg. We're finally doing research and we got emergency rations, which is good. Uh-oh, he's got the common cold. I'm gonna make him making some bread and some buttermilk pies while I'm at it. Need to collect tasty meals. <laughs> okay. Ooh, grain porridge. I can make this. Nice. Because Mr. Jack is a big fan of that. We've got diesel generators. Good. We're getting somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and start getting power going. Uh, we'll slap this bad boy right there. I know we need more fuel. We're working on it. But once I get that, man, we can do some good stuff here. So what I'm going to do is build out my production an electric cook stove. Oh, yeah. Put that there. I'll get some storage. What I like to do is put... I think I normally put like a regular storage chest in here and then I do refrigeration later. Let's look at that, shall we? <clears throat> Alright, we're working on refrigerators next. We'll need energy storage and other things good too. <laughs> Lots of stuff, man. Lots of stuff. Oh, a large burning object. Most definitely a chunk of a spaceship was seen crashing in the distance. We've got another expedition, my friends. We're going to go do that while we slowly get our power up and running. Uh, let's look at spaceship junk. I think that's the one we want. Yeah, let's do that. We'll send out... Yoko, you haven't gone out in one. You're gonna go out. Have fun. What did... What did we find over here? Some debris, but I didn't see anything particularly interesting. Still burning and dangerous. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Well, we got falling spaceship debris. I just crash landed. Go scavenge that thing, please. Give me some goodies. Jack has pneumonia. Great. Somebody's gonna treat him. I think we are researching antibiotics right now. I don't think we're there, though, because we'll have to get him. And then process them. <laughs> of course. Oh, now Mackie has pneumonia. Is this going to be the end of my crew? Matter pain relief. Suppressed pneumonia. Okay. Okay. It's no longer infectious. Very good. No, Samantha has pneumonia. Great. Fantastic. Hey, finally we have refrigerators. We're gonna get one here for finished meals. And then we'll get probably one here for... 
cooked goods that need uh, refrigeration or uncooked goods rather and then we'll get storage in the form of I think what I'm gonna do is throw Ooh, do I want a chest here or do I want let's do storage shelves and then we're gonna go to housing we'll do not room sorry we're gonna do a wall made out of wood all the way there and then we'll throw a nice door on it oh yeah right there that gives me enough room for whatever else I feel like putting in here for now that's it Okay, this is only going to be for cooked meals. This one will only be for raw food. Yeah. I think meat and veggies, I don't think I need grain. I don't think it goes bad. Under roof, it's got 48 days. So we're not going to put that there. We're not going to put the oil and fats there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then, when we have this, what we're going to do not allow meat or veggies just oil fats we'll turn off cooked meals unless maybe it's emergency rations this could probably go on the shelf because it oh they don't last very long do they well these are indefinite oh so you can refine them cool cool we'll let this be overflow for cooked meals um Mostly oil, fats, and grains right now. Turn off all that shite. We'll allow him to store tea and smoke leaf here. No unfinished. Well, you can store unfinished items. That's fine. Okay. Now we're talking. Cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, this is just going to be a dining hall. That's the goal. Only dining. Uh, let's go to housing, flooring. Let's do a nice, nice, like, soft carpet, maybe. No, we'll do ceramic tiles in the kitchen. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go to flooring. Let's go to nice, soft carpet. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Give me flooring. Soft carpet back here as well. Nice. Good. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. As soon as we get power up and running, I'll just have that running and not do the cook stove. Oh, Samantha, you got another illness. I'm busy. Yeah, okay. You're going to get dealt with. Don't worry. A new insect nest. There we go. She's going to heal him up. Over there. Yeah, fighting these is a big deal. It's a good thing. What is this? Some glowy shrooms. Observe those orange mushrooms, please. Alright, while he's in a good mood and ready to murder, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and attack one of those new insect nests. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. I think he can handle it. Oh, there's two. They're right here. So they're up on this ridge line. Okay. Let's get up there and start shooting stuff. We'll see what happens. Maybe he lives, maybe he dies. I don't know. Shooting for the wood line. That's pretty cool. Get him. Nice, just dropping him left and right. Very good. 
I know you get some unique resource out of this. I just don't remember what it is. Step it up, buddy. Deflected? Oh. Thing's got armor. Melee that thing. Good shot. Well, we've got armor too, and that's deflecting your attacks, buddy. You shot in the butt. Good riddance, bug butts. Okay. Observe the nest. Attack that. Let's move you up a little bit. Attack that nest. We're going to go ahead and butcher all of the aminals of the bug variety. Well, we've officially taken care of that nest. He's going to go butcher him. Deal with that. we got somebody to come out and observe things. I know you can get some unique stuff out of here. Okay. I've noticed my fermentation barrels are primarily only doing pickled veggies. <laughs> so, I need to make 100 liquid fuel. So, we're going to get two scrap metal drums going for fermentation into fuel. So, we'll double it up. Because we need fuel, man. We need lots of fuel. And we got plenty of bug butts out there. They're just going to rot away. Can't have that. Yoko's gone berserk. She's punching a storage shelf. Okay. We got aggressive animals coming in. Okay, great. They don't like that I've destroyed their hive out there, do they? Too bad. I'll do it again. Jack, I'm going to need you back here, please. Hey, Yoko, you want to come be angry over here? And go punch some bugs instead of, you know, my furniture? That'd be nice. There we go. We're drawing them in. Okay, we are done with that battle. Great butcher all these bug butts, shall we? Apparently we still have two aggressive animals out there. And they're going to attack. Okay. Yoko, get drafted. Get ready to fight. Got antibiotics, nice. You can practice out there. You'll be okay. We've got antibiotics, which is fantastic. I think that's a fermentation barrel thing, isn't it? Sure is. Give me until 10. We're going to bump that up in priority. Thank you. These are going. I like that they actually show that they're doing something. That's cool. Well, we are hitting New Year's Eve. I think this is the first year ending. Of course, go ahead. We'll do that. We're not sending anybody out anymore. Cool. Mackie, you getting healed up? Yeah. Oh, he's shooting at the friggin' target. Jeez. He did his favorite pastime. Well, it would appear Samantha has lost her pants. Okay, great. Do I have any pants made? No, because nobody's prioritizing the correct things. Partially my fault. Partially my fault. 
Yeah, it's about to run away. I got it. We're trying to use it up. If I had realized it was all going to pickling, I would have, I would have fixed that earlier, but I didn't. Uh, New Year's Eve is on us. We are going to throw a party. And it's a no pants party because Samantha, you know, is not wearing pants to the party. You don't generally want to do that to the company party. Just saying. Oh, look at that. We've got some fireworks. Nice. Well done. Oh yeah, very good. Samantha's vomiting at the New Year's Eve party as well. Very good. Oh, look at that, a nice, probably chunk of space debris falling from the sky. A shooting star, ominous. Hey, that is an expedition. We'll go check that out real quick if we can get some fuel in this sucker. Barely dressed, I know. That happens when, you know, you go to the party and, uh, drink a little too much. Just saying. Drink responsibly. The No Pants Gang has grown. We now have two people without pants. We need to get some production going. A little bit of rain. At least you guys are indoors, mostly. Uh-oh, meteor rain coming in. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my buildings. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. Alright, I think we have enough fuel to go do that expedition now. Soon. And that's ready to get built. Nice, that's a big win. We're waiting on a little more fuel in this thing. We may not even have enough. But we're about to have juice! And the juice will be loose. All right, the diesel generator is up and running. We have power. We are refrigerating stuff. We can cook things. We're gonna cook this until we have 10 of those. We'll do quick recipes. We'll run through these. Just do 10 of each. Nice. Okay, we're gonna send out an expedition against that shooting star, Jack. Go check it out, buddy. Well, what do we find? Interesting rocks that have ore. Great, it's not that interesting. Getting more people seems to be very difficult. It's very much RNG based. Very, very RNG based. Well, we have electronics crafting now. We can make that. I think we need a soldering workbench. Cool, man. Cool. This is where you want to start specializing some of your buildings, I feel like. As things get a little bit messy do like small buildings I don't know it becomes burdensome if you're doing heating and cooling off electricity you know hey, yeah it needs power I got it uh, let's go to power pole make it out of metal we'll throw another one of these bad boys right here that'll cover us opportunity power cell research I've dabbled in some DIY and have a vague memory of how power cells are made. Should be possible to research them without a sample. You waited how long to tell us? Huh. I think that's if you're falling behind a little bit, the game will kind of nudge you along <laughs> and give you a little bit of assistance here and there. Our indoors is very, very hot. All right, so in here we can solder circuit boards. We'll do that until we have 10. Nice. Oh, look, more aggressive animals. Will this be the end of this? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, we're building our walls, finally. I'm getting around to that. I need to chop some trees because I don't have nearly enough. Oh, and we're being attacked from Hoya over there. Okay, um, I'm going to get you guys drafted over here. We're going to put Jack in the high ground because he's very good at the combats. I think the big thing with getting into the tower is it clears the line of sight for the most part. All right, we're good. We're fighting. We're doing things. Quite a bit of bugs. 
I suppose it would make sense to put your best medic in the tower and let everybody else do the melee fighting. Uh, yeah. Man, he's coming in. Nice. Okay. Undraft. Let's go ahead and butcher all these big bastards. There we go. Butcher them. Cool. We're dealing with the big bleeders first. Triage, man. That's what you need to do. Oh, spaceship debris crash. Okay, let's go check that out. Hopefully it's more than just loot. Peculiar crash site. Okay. Um, send out... Who's in a slightly better mood? Nobody. Congrats, Samantha. You're going out. Part of the debris caught my attention, so I went to investigate. Doing so, I found the remains of a communications hub, and with some effort, I was able to pull out an intact orbital radio core. With some research, we should be possible to use the core for the construction of orbital communication devices to contact any ships that pass nearby the planet. A chance for salvation. Indeed. Still no new people. Crazy. We don't have the storage space. You crazy? How do we not have the storage space? What are you storing in here? Construction materials should be there. Yeah, that shouldn't be. Gee. That should be an indoors item. What are you talking about? There we go. Well, folks, I think I could continue doing this for a long time, get a lot of research done and get pants on my people, but you know what? 1.0 release is coming out. I'm going to drop... Well, you've already watched this, so never mind. I'm not going to say that. We'll do another run of this after 1.0 release. Probably not right away. I kind of want to get back into Space Haven for a little bit. Do a bit of a unique challenge run. But hey, I hope you've enjoyed this. Nice little deeper look at this game. Uh, I enjoy it. It's got a lot of potential. I think the modding community is pretty big too, so that could be good. A little RimWorld style, where you have a thousand mods on. Anyways, thanks for joining me, folks. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next series. Buh bye bye